here inside angelosports.com with former Angelo State quarterback Josh Nicewander. Uh, Josh, uh, back in town tonight for the Hollins Award Banquet. Um, pick up the Hollins Award for men's football. Um, talk about what it was like uh, being up there and uh, maybe seeing some faces you haven't seen in uh, a few months. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, win, winning the Hollins Award is definitely it's a great honor and it's something that I'm very appreciative of, uh, especially since it's an award that's voted on by your teammates because uh, a lot of these guys are my best friends and, uh, you know, I've been playing football with them for a long time. And so it's great to be back. It's great to uh, see some of those guys even came out and uh, did some throwing with some of them. Uh, but it's nice to be around them and, uh, you know, see what's going on with those guys and they're, they're interested in what's going on with me. Um, so it's good to see them uh, and I had a great time with them tonight. Okay. Um, you talked about them being interested in, in what's going on with you. Uh, well, what what kind of has been going on with you since uh, graduating from ASU uh, in December with a Master's of Business Administration? Well, I've, I've been in Dallas training for the last three months. Uh, for the first uh, probably two months, I was doing pro day training uh, specifically, uh, getting ready for the, the pro day in Abilene, and then we finished that up. And uh, ever since, I've basically been doing training for, uh, for a camp, uh, for an NFL camp. And so... <clears throat> I've, I've had a lot of great feedback so far from uh, quite a few teams. Uh, it kind of seems like um, I'll go late in the draft. I'll be picked up as a free agent. That's what I've been told. Um, and that's kind of the consensus from a lot of the teams that I talk to. So uh, it's good that I'm getting the exposure, and it's good that a lot of teams know about me. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Okay. Um, the big NFL draft starts Thursday night um, with, uh, I think, first round, maybe first or second round, and then the uh, middle portion of the draft on Friday, and then uh, the later rounds on Saturday. Um, you have any big plans, or um, your weekend you blocked it off? You know, I don't. I don't have any big plans. Um, you know, we actually had an engagement pictures scheduled on Saturday, uh, and that was my fiance's doing. But we got that. We got that changed because uh, it'll be a pretty, a pretty big day for me. That'll be the day where, uh, where I know something. You know, I'll start getting calls from teams and uh, kind of figure out where I'm going to go. And so, you know, I wanted to block that day off to uh, set aside. Um, you know, time for any teams to call and uh, for any of the deals that we have to get worked out. Okay. Um, after your, I guess, final game as a Ram, you, you played in a couple games, uh, went up to the All-American Bowl and had a chance to uh, sort of run your own offense up there and uh, had some pretty good success playing with uh, Garrett and, and John and then uh, playing in the uh, Eastern Energy All-Star uh, college football game. You talk about those two bowl experiences and uh, sort of what that was like? Yeah, the, the first one was a, a D, D2, D3 All-Star game. And like you said, John and uh, Garrett were up there with me. And we had a great time. Um, a lot of stuff, uh, like the, you know, we were supposed to play at the Metrodome, the roof collapsed right before we went up there. Uh, and so that was a little bit of a bummer. <clears throat> and then the weather was, um, you know, for people in Texas, it was really, really bad there was snow everywhere. And, uh, but we had a great time. It was a great experience. Uh, really glad that I got to be a part of that. Then I went to uh, Arizona for the Division One All-Star game. And, uh, certainly didn't play as well as I would have liked, um, but yeah, I got a lot of great feedback from the scouts. There's a lot of scouts there during practice. Um, coach Mummy was our was our head coach, and I, I really enjoyed being around him. And uh, you know, he's the one of the creators of the air raid offense. And so, you know, a lot of guys struggle <coughs> going from a spread offense to a pro style offense. Well, I struggled a little bit going from a pro style offense to a spread offense in, in three days. And so, uh, it was definitely. Uh, a, a great learning experience, and it was something I really enjoyed, especially being around uh, a lot of those guys from Division One schools. A lot of guys from Auburn were there, and so we talked about the national championship. Um, and so it was neat to kind of see how uh, how things go in their program uh, compared to you know maybe a school like Angel State, Division Two school. So uh, both All Star games had you know great experiences, and really enjoyed being above them. Okay, yeah, you participated in the uh, Abilene Christian Pro Day, as you mentioned, and. Um, it's sort of been working out in Dallas. Um, can you talk about maybe what those workouts have been like? Um, anything new that you're working on, or are you just trying to uh, polish everything up? Well, the, you know, the pro day training in Dallas was strictly for all the testing that we were going to do that you see at the combine. So 40 shuttles, L drills, verticals, uh, everything explosive. And so that's that's strictly what we worked on. And it, you know, it was by no means a football workout. You know, it's not something that gets you ready for a season. You know, it's something that gets you ready for a specific test that. Um, that you're going to have to go through for the NFL guys. And so, um, you know, that was, that was a great experience. You know, I got faster, I got quicker, um, and I really enjoyed that. And I was working with a quarterback's coach for a while. Um, and then, you know, I went to the pro day, 
and uh, you know the biggest thing for me was getting a throw. And there was uh, there was 22 NFL teams there, and we had four really good receivers that I got to throw to. And so uh, you know after I got to throw in front of those guys is when I really started getting a lot of interest from uh, some NFL teams. And so that was you know the best thing that could have happened for me. I, you know I'm really fortunate that Coach Thompson, uh, the head coach down there, let me come down and be a part of that because uh, it was big for me. Okay, uh, one of those receivers that you were throwing to was uh, Edmund Gates uh, from Abilene Christian. Uh, he's obviously uh, following in the footsteps of some other Abilene wide receivers that have made it to the NFL. and um, Quite a few, or maybe not quite a few, but a good handful of LSC players uh, playing in the, pr in the pro ranks in, in National Football League. Um, can you talk about the conference as a whole and, and maybe some of the talent that you've seen and, and Hopefully, uh, adding your name to to the list. Oh, absolutely. When, I mean, when you see guys like uh, like Johnny and uh, Bernard, who who come from a Division two school uh, and succeed as much as they did in the NFL, uh, it gives guys like me, um, you know, high hopes. Uh, and it's really good for guys in the NFL who are going to evaluate talent coming out of college uh, to know that hey, you know, guys can come from a Division two school and still be successful in the NFL. And so. Um, those guys being successful is really, really big for guys like me, uh, coming from a smaller school, and uh, you know that's one of the reasons it's really important for me to uh, be successful in the NFL is for, you know, specifically guys for Angelo State who play football here. You know, it's I want those guys to know, hey, uh, you can be here and you, you can succeed uh, in the NFL. You know, it's <clears throat> it's not something that's out of the question. Um, a lot of guys coming out of high school have high hopes of going to a Division One school. And, uh, you know, just because you don't doesn't mean that you can't play at the next level. And so uh, it's important for me to, uh, to not only get there but to do well, um, to do like, you know, Johnny Knox and Bernard Scott and some of those other guys and show guys that um, you can go to the next level from Division Two. Okay. Uh, you a uh, big fan of Troy Aikman growing up, Dallas Cowboys fan uh, from Winsboro, Texas. Uh, have you talked to the Cowboys at all, and, and what's maybe your dream scenario, or are you just looking for a foot in the door anywhere? Well, I have. I've uh, been in contact with the Cowboys. Uh, that's one of the teams that's been showing quite a bit of interest, uh, and it's something that excites me because I grew up I grew up a Cowboys fan. You know, like you said, I, I love Troy Aikman. Uh, he, he was the quarterback I wanted to be like in, in everything that I did. Uh, but with that said, you know, I'd be uh, – It'd be a true blessing, and I'd be, you know, so fortunate to be a part of any of the 32 NFL teams, and uh, and so, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, um, whether you're drafted or not on Saturday, or um, you got a chance to sign a free agent contract, what what are sort of the next steps um, if you sign a free agent contract? Well, I know that, uh, you know, they lifted the lockout today, and we'll see uh, what happens as far as you know the appeals or. You know whether that sticks, but if it sticks, then I know that we'll begin training camps uh, a week after the draft. And I think those are like a three-day camp uh, type scenario. And then, uh, from what I've heard from my agent, you know we stay up there and train and work out. And uh, you know we have several uh, mini camp training camps throughout uh, the off-season, working into the preseason. So uh, that's kind of the next step from here as soon as the draft comes. Okay, well, we'll all be watching uh, intently on Saturday and. Uh... Probably not as anxious as you will be, but uh, we'll be listening to the names as they're read off, and we wish you the best. Appreciate it, man.